how would my exes describe our relationship? So we met at... We met at the uh, studio that uh, I work at in the city. She's a singer, you know, and I'm an engineer, so we met through a mutual colleague. Me and Tasha actually met on Instagram. Who made the first move? I would say Tasha did. <laughs> oh, I definitely did. Me? What was the move? First thing I said was hi there with two waves. That's kind of like the go-to. She asked me for my number, very direct. I said, you look dangerous. I was like, it's something in your eyes that looks dangerous. That's, you know, that's exactly what I told her. She started laughing, and from there, we just started talking back and forth. My type is... Someone supportive of her. Um, I think she likes, she definitely likes guys tall, funny, outgoing, ambitious. Definitely polished, clean guys that take care of themselves. Someone fun, bigger than her so she can feel protected so that she can talk her shit. Someone into music, but really just like a carefree, like not too serious type of person. They were attracted to my... Her smile, personality, beautiful girl. Oh, definitely the vibe though, like her personality, her spirit. Her legs, sexy as hell. I thought he looked like... Maybe, um... Omari Hardwick. <laughs> the singer, Sammy. Ben kind of looks like the fox a little bit. The fox from Zootopia. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fox from Zootopia. Larry the crab, the big strong one. Well, yeah, I guess I heard that before. The giant worm from SpongeBob that like attacks the city, sort of. Big worm from SpongeBob. I don't even remember what that character looks like. Our first kiss was... Very random. We were just hanging out one day, a couple of drinks in us. And you know, I guess the, the moment was right and we just, you know, had a little kiss. It was, uh, it was at a studio. His music is actually really intimate and, you know, just kind of gave it a look. And then, you know, of course, alcohol is my courage because I'm self-conscious, so I just leaned in and it happened. It was during sex. Mm -hmm. He thought my best physical feature was... Definitely her face. She has a beautiful smile, beautiful eyes. Her eyes. The legs. Yeah, sexy as hell. He thought my best personality trait was... She's a hard worker. Not judgmental, great sense of humor. She's real, you know, she keeps it honest. She's fiery and it gives you energy, it picks you up, you know, so that's definitely, she definitely gives people energy. And I thought his best personality trait was... I'm not judgy, I'm not judgmental at all. Anything that I like pretty much food-wise, movie-wise, music-wise, we just clicked on it. I think she would love my sense of humor. I used to crack a lot of jokes, but she didn't always really get them. He'll reference something from, I guess, when they were kids and I'm just like, it went over my head, I don't know what you're talking about. He introduced me to... Different restaurants. We love to go out to eat a lot. Yeah, so mental and spiritual hygiene, you know, meditation, uh, getting up in the morning, uh, affirmations, uh, just self-check-ins and self-care. I introduced a Haitian food, actually. He knew my favorite food was... She's allergic to a lot of things, so unfortunately her, her uh, list of things she could eat is very small. So french fries is her favorite. I'm gonna say pizza. Everybody love pizza, right? Something simple, because she's allergic to everything. We could go with chicken. <laughs> French fries. Our sex life was... It was pretty good. <laughs> we, believe it or not, didn't get there. For as long as we were dating, um, we spent a lot of time together, yes. But again, a lot, a lot of it was just us being out, you know? So, and I think also that's why it led to us just being friends. My relationship style is best described as... Go with the flow, I'd say. We're both air signs, so we just go with the flow. Flexible, she's not as clingy as most people are. They know my celebrity crush is... Drake. Drake? No idea. Drake, I love Drake. My favorite movie is... I don't think she even has one. I'm gonna say something just outrageous, Titanic. Something childish. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. I'm gonna go with the Lion King. Hairspray. My favorite musician is... Nicki Minaj. Drake. Beyonce. Mm. Bob Dylan. My biggest fear... Rejection. Don't recall. It's being broke. <laughs> Going broke. <laughs> that terrifies me. The most embarrassing thing I did in front of my ex was... I don't, I don't recall any embarrassing moments from her. I don't have anything. She fell down the stairs one time by my by my house, but they those stairs kill everybody. It's like one of those butt boop 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to win in an argument? George. Tasha. I'm not much of an arguer and I, I, I quit. I give up very easily. Both of us. My sign is Yeah, she's a Libra. 
She's a Libra. Guess what, we're both Libras. I'm also a Libra. We could both be pretty stubborn, uh, very opinionated, and strong-willed. Air sign, so that means we're both go with the flow. Uh, we're both whimsical. Uh, we both are indecisive. I'm a Libra. It worked for us in that we were both wild and carefree and fun-loving, and it worked against us in that we both liked the attention on us. The best picture of us. Beyonce said, black people in blue light. We dated for. About a year. Seven to like nine months. About a year and a half. We broke up because. Scheduling was just a bit crazy. Um, and probably like I said, the age gap. Yeah, I wanted an open relationship and she did not, she wasn't with it. It's just differences in opinions, you know, things causing tension, you know, and just kind of damaging our friendship. My worst habit was. A little stubborn, yeah. Stubborn. Stubborn. Very stubborn. Communication. She didn't communicate as well as I did. And his worst habit was? The same thing. <laughs> I'm pretty stubborn myself. Stubborn. <laughs> stubborn. Very stubborn. So I didn't open up as well. I might close people off if I felt a certain type of way. I didn't communicate. Like, I guess we both weren't the best communicators. <laughs> I hated his. I, I don't think she hated anything about me. I wanted to be in an open relationship. I have so much going on in my brain, I rarely remember things, and it causes me to be uh, inconsiderate sometimes. Like, hey, we're supposed to go out today, and I'm like, you know, she's like, hey, you ready? And I'm like, mm, no. Were we in love? I don't think it got to that point. Yes. <laughs> it's my boo. No. I was not in love with any of them. I got over the breakup after. A month. Knowing her, maybe not that long. She's not over it still. Is I just bury myself in work, you know, as long as work and career is still growing, you know, relationships, they, you know, I start to forget about them. He got over the breakup after. I move on pretty fast. That took me a while. It took me a while. Two weeks. How did things end? It was a pretty clean breakup. I honestly wish all my breakups were like that. It was a mutual agreement, you know? We disagreed on being open or not, and so we just ended it cordially. Would we date again? I don't know. I don't really date exes. <laughs> yeah, I would date Tasha again. Yeah. A lot of said I wouldn't, but I was in my feelings that day. <laughs> I think he would tell my future partners. Just be on point. She's a hard worker. She doesn't really take any any slack on, on, on the man's behalf. And then just be ready to uh, do what you have to do to, to, to maintain it. Uh, be prepared. <laughs> just be on your toes. You don't play, man. Very high standards. Don't try to control her, you know. Let her do her thing. What am I looking for? Security. Security and connection and somebody who values her. Someone who's all about her. <laughs> I wouldn't really say I'm looking for anything right now, but if I was looking, someone that's, I don't know, ambitious and funny and charismatic and kind and family oriented, career driven, but no, still knows how to balance and like make time for me and understand my schedule and what it is that I wanna do with my life. And like dogs, this is a lot. Yeah, someone that doesn't live too far, maybe the age range 23 to like 28, I think is the highest I'll go at this point. Yeah, that's not a, too bad of a list, I don't think. <laughs>